Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, a love reading for you. Uh, in this love reading, we have asked the cards for specific questions. Um, what are what are your person's feelings toward you? How do you feel toward this towards this person? Um, what's the advice for you dealing with this uh, particular person? And what's the potential outcome if you take the advice of the cards? Um, so I've got the cards pulled here for the sake of time. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, and I hope that everyone is safe. All right, so here we are. So, um, your person's feelings towards you are the Six of Sword or the Six of Spade, the Three of Hearts, and Eight of Spade. Okay. So your person just wants peace with you. With you, your person feels like they've achieved some some small feat in, in terms of maybe finding um, a good person, finding a good relationship, making a good choice, uh, feeling balanced in the relationship, having peace here um, in a connection. The Three of Hearts talks about maybe your person regrets not saying things. Um, keeping things back, holding them in. And with the eight of spades, we see where, so it's a cycle, it, it, it's uh, cyclical, it's um, in a circle where this person has cyclical thoughts of maybe what they wanna say to you, what they wanna do with you, but then there's cancellation. They cancel those plans of going forward with you out because of the mental funk, the analysis paralysis that they put themselves and so your person and your person thinks about you heavily and there, there are things that they want to say but they're not saying to you um they want to express themselves you could be dealing with another air sign gemini libra aquarius or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio it looks like not only are you two you know lovers or boyfriend and girlfriend or whatnot a married couple but you also this looks like a new relationship. You also may be friends. You're still in the dating phase in the creating the the actual relationship, the actual stability phase. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with um yeah, maybe a Gemini here. Okay. Um, so this is how your person feels about you. They may have real deep feelings for you. And maybe that's why they're having a hard time expressing themselves. But they have very uh, warm thoughts toward you. So this is how you feel about your person. The Eight of Diamond. The Queen of Hearts with the five of hearts that that came out with it uh the ten of hearts wow um so you feel like you could have marriage and travel with this person but this would be coming later in life you feel like you can go through life cycles with this person you can merge your life with this person you can um have a strong foundation in terms of other people's money maybe this person has more money than you or vice versa you feel like the merger of you know the two of you could really be dynamic and um, very even more stable for the both of you um, you're very much in love with this person and you're you're still learning them and you're still learning um, things about them that you that make you fall in love with them even more but you sense that maybe with your person there's some hesitation Um, hesitating before actually making a decision to move the relationship forward to have something stable uh, you feel like how you felt towards them as the ten of cups it, you're very happy um, this is the highest level of happiness um, you feel like you have found your uh, tenth cup with them you feel like you can have a happy home happy life with them if nothing else 
emotional stability will be had in this relationship. Could be dealing with a water sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could be anybody, okay? So, the advice for you dealing with this person. The, th the Three of Diamond, the Queen of Clubs, the Jack of Hearts. Wow. Um, just continue to build with this person. You may find that there might be a hiccup or two here, but continue. Uh, continue to work your magic on them. Continue to woo them. Uh, be as sensual and as sexy and as charismatic, outgoing, fun, dynamic, and independent as you possibly can be. Be very loving. Be open to uh, receive love. Be a good friend also. Um... Be reliable. Be a woman or a man of your word in regards to dealing with this person. Um, recognize that you guys are building together. Maybe even that might be might be even saying, you know, to this person that, hey, I, you know, our relationship is growing stronger, or, you know, I like the way. I like um, the direction the relationship is going in. Um, I don't know where I got that from, but maybe somebody is looking for you to express to them exactly how you feel in, in terms of the relationship. Okay, so if you take the advice of the cards, the king of, of clubs, wow, king and queen, the two of spades, and the ace a spade so it looks like if you take the advice of the cards you push this person kind of you push them closer to making a decision understanding that some dynamic of how they are existing now how they are existing in terms of a love relationship it has to die it has to change this person has to have complete transformation um it looks like they're going to be if you could take the advice of the cards you, you push this person to to recognize um, not hide their their head in terms of knowing that this relationship is monumental and it, and it means something and I have to change who I am or what I want or or how I act in relationship in order to keep this relationship so it's almost as if you back this individual into that corner that corner of thought of, of you know doing something dynamic having complete change here And what's clarifying the two of spade and the ace of spade is the two of spade or the two of sword and the nine of pentacles. So this person is going to have to make a decision in regards to you. What do they want to do? Do they want to take the relationship to the next level? Or do they want to continue to ma uh, maintain uh, their autonomy and their independence? It looks like they're going to take the relationship to the next level. They see your value. They see that they're very lucky to even be in a love relationship with you or have met you. You guys could have met by coincidence or just happenstance or something of that nature. They see that there needs to be a change here. Um, some, yeah, a change here. Some cycle ending. And it may be singlehood. They may, have, they may come to a determination that they want to have something solid and stable with you. They they no longer want to be single or they can't they can no longer hide the fact that they love you, they like you, they want to be with you. Yeah, they'll be in heavy um evaluation of what they're building with you. And they're gonna cut away things that just don't serve them and they're gonna evaluate is can I can I see my life with this person?
looks like they may try to keep you uh, hanging on with this page of pentacle here in this hermit while they figure out where it is they they need to be what it is they need to be what they need to be doing a self-discovery and while they're doing this they want you to be hanging on to words um a message of the fact that you guys could become absolute you know stable a marriage engagement or something yeah this person is um they're trying to make sure they make the right choice they may be having money issues they could be waiting for money um they want to make sure that they're not basing a choice in superficiality that they're not being that whatever they get themselves into they, they're not going to feel closed in 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 tra entrapment um they still want to maintain some level of autonomy in a traditional relationship in the establishment of um so yeah this person is going to be in heavy thought about what they you know what move to make with you the king of wands coming up again the death card again yeah it seems like they feel like they're going to be they're going to lose you know out on something and they're weighing it up once again um the ace of pentacles it looks like they could propose to you because they see that this is a love relationship where the love is deep between the two of you this may be this relationship may be gaining some jealousy also be how because of how deep the love runs for the both of you um and then there's some unexpected event that happens that has happened before what is this in regards to right okay so maybe you guys just decide to elope or move in together and do something very very uh monumental so it looks good it just looks like your your person is at a place of um needing to know if it's right if it's the, the one if you're the one and it looks like for a lot of you an engagement can come in for you um, this person wants they look at you as valuable you know um there are things that they want to say to you that they're not saying to you um they want to i mean they're they're holding their emotions in uh very strong um let's see what's the additional advice improving health success peaceful resolution the situation will improve and okay these cards all fill out let go it's up to you get more information ask others for help and don't stop okay so don't stop whatever it is you're doing okay because um it could really land you to where you want to be get more information see how this person feels about commitment about you they may be holding things in which makes you confused also it's up to you you can have what you want in this relationship but you have to be willing to be committed to not only the good times but the ups and downs uh, grief work yeah you feel like your person is grieving something or someone they're hesitating before actually making a decision in regards to you forgiveness this may be what you have to deal with forgiveness or the your other person's support someone has to has have the courage to actually take the next step here somebody is practicing or needs to practice self-care put yourself first okay and spiritual growth here very nice um aquarius this is a really good reading um your person is just stuck because i feel like this person wasn't looking to either ever fall in love again or find someone as dynamic as you are um they were just casually dating getting to know people and in you they have so much uh to look forward to friendship love uh support and an understanding uh person so this is um 
a lot to take in for your person and they have to evaluate exactly where they are um, and, and their feelings in regards to you. Aquarius, if you feel like this is your person to you, I feel like this is new energy also uh, or newish energy you could be. Have known someone under six months. Okay, that's new. Under six months. Um, new energy here where, you know, you're still living in the newness, but, you know, it didn't take all day to recognize sunshine. So I think this person recognizes um, the, your importance in their life. Okay, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, um, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Phone readings are half off if you email the email address below and uh, and request the half off code. Um, phone readings are 50% off if you email the email address below and request the code to get your reading 50% off. Phone readings, okay? Um, also, I have where you can text a question to the number below. Uh, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that if you're feeling moved to do so. Uh, if, Like I said, I feel like this is newer energy. If you haven't met anyone or you feel like you, you're on the brink of meeting someone, if your question is just will I meet someone, that's a valid question. Text your question to the number below. Um, or if you have met someone and it's still it's fairly new, you can say, how does this person feel about me? You know, what do they, what are their intentions? Okay. Be very clear with your questions, guys. Um, not for me, but for the cards. If you get all jumbled, jambled up and you want to ask three questions in one question, it, you're not going to get a clear answer. Okay. So be very clear, very direct. Okay. All right. So thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.